Hey people, we are back with Tales of the Abyss. This is part 8, and we are still in the middle of a cutscene with everyone awkwardly staring at each other while it's just been sitting here. So, let's get going. Well, we don't have much time anyway. Your lecture? I'll stop the lecture at that. The letter arrived, didn't it? Yes. Yes, now, let's. I'm let's getting go very tired of these force. places. <sighs> of no! course. We have to report to the elder. There's more to do and can never be done. Language. I just quoted a song. It's the power of the sorcerer's ring. Yeah, being cool. ASPCA, I'll get you on that, Luke. I know. I've had to work with them. Jade, could we stop I'll by work the with their rules, home? not with them specifically. Right, but please don't forget that we haven't much time. Luke, thank you for your help. Please join Kick. me for just a little longer. Well, I've come this far. Might as well. Yep. Jade in the party. And like I said, he is at level 45. But you'd be naive to think that he would stay like that. Oh, and I got the sword I just bought. And a life bottle. And a skit. And I bet Jade's gonna be in it. The, that Colonel Jade is certainly quite strong. <laughs> I could have done just fine without him. No, you couldn't. We were losing. You better not try and get in my way again. I'm warning you. I realize I may have interfered with your ambitions, but the sight was just too much to bear. I'll refrain from getting in your way in the future. In exchange, I ask that you do me the same favor. You stuck-up piece of... <laughs> well, in any case, the problem's been resolved and nobody's hurt, right? Why not just leave it at that? Yes, let's go inform the Cheagle, and e Cheagle Elder and head back to Engave. Because Luke doesn't let grudges pass. Resolved indeed. Oh, Jade. Such a snarker. I forget what this is. It just... Oh, oh yeah, I remember. I think this is the thing that lets you do... Manual? Yes. Manual is pretty much just whenever you, instead of, when, on, when you're on semi-auto, if you push the attack button, the character automatically runs to the nearest enemy. But if you're on manual, they don't. So it's pretty much just, a, I guess, a more technical way of playing the game. I guess manual is for people who are more used to the game than semi-auto. And auto would just have them do everything for you. Which is what usually the computer-controlled characters are on. I just want to leave. I'm tired of this place. No, no more ligers. I don't know. Jade will just dis Okay, fine. Jade will just destroy you. Let's go! Yeah, like that. Well, you did your best. Okay, I gotta go back to the big tree. Talk to the elder, that kinda sounds like a, a porn star, I guess is what I would describe the way she says mew. That long drawn out last syllable. Oh, there's a cheagle up in the tree. I was like, what is that on the branch? It's just a cheagle. Say annoying, not amusing. They're so cute. Huh? You say something? Nope. Can't reveal that she likes cute things just because no. she's a military girl. You told me what happened. You met with great danger on our behalf. We are grateful that you have kept your promise even after two thousand years. Of course, aiding the Cheagles is part of Yulia's teaching. 
But the original cause of all this was Mew burning the Liger's I like how his name is Mew. Just the fact that it's like a Pokemon. His name's Mew. That's what he says when he's not talk. How he talks when he's not wearing the ring. So I will have Mew atone for his mistake. What are you going to do? I will exile Mew from our tribe. That's too cruel. Naturally, I don't mean forever. I hear that Master Luke saved Mew's life. Yep, even though he won't admit it. Cheagles do not forget their debts. Mew will serve Master Luke for one cycle of seasons. Oh boy. I mean, he's really useful and everything, but uh, like I said, I don't like his voice. Hey, I'm not involved in this. It's more like the ring is Mew useful. Mew insists upon accompanying you, Master Luke. I leave it up to you to decide what to do with him. Why not take him because along? Because he's annoying. Why don't we just take the ring? We can use that. I don't need a pet. Cheagles are the sacred beasts of the Order of Lorelei. I'm sure he'd be well received by your family. Hmm. I guess I could give him to Guy and the others as a souvenir. Mm hmm. I'll do my best. God, for these cutscenes eat up a lot of time. Oh, you're so annoying. Well, it appears his report has ended. Let's leave the forest. Hmm. Who died and made him boss? Maybe the fact that he's twice your age and is infinitely more mature than you. That would probably make him the boss. Luke, can't you walk a little slower? Mew can't keep up. <laughs> Why do we have to slow down for that thing? Because he's in the party? Don't worry. Tear, I'm okay. See, even he says he's fine. Why do you have to be so mean? Can't you treat Mew like one of us? One of us? He's the most annoying thing I've ever seen. Uh, oh, please don't fight. Shut up already. It's your fault in the first place for burning up the Liger's home. You are such a bastard. If you hadn't done that, the Liger Queen could have hatched her eggs without bothering anybody, and everything would have been fine, except all the people would have been dead. You got that, huh? Mew. Now, now, I'm sure Mew understands the gravity of what he's done. You could stand to be a little bit more, be a bit more mature, Luke. Yes, you could. Yeah, yeah. Well, now that that's cleared up, shall we be going? Little son of a... Oh, Luke. I am tired of skits. But there are, like, hundreds of them on these games. As soon as we leave the forest, it's going to be another long, drawn-out cutscene. This looks like fun. I won't allow this. I don't think he will be careless. He killed them all in one hit, I'm betting. I was doing that. Too easy. I just want to leave. No, no more. Oh, damn it. Thank you, Tyr. I'm pretty sure we could all see that. Flash! In the older Tales games, it would like... Your footwork was sloppy. You missed their vital points. You were a mess. Oh, shut up! <laughs> on the older Tales games, it would, like, zoom in on a person every time they casted something, and that was really annoying. I'm glad they got rid of that. Although, I... Did they do it on Tales of Vesperia? I never played that one. I don't own an Xbox. I'm pretty sure they did, because it came out after this one. Overkill. Things probably barely have 200 health, and that just did 400 damage. Hey, we're leaving. Only to get arrested. Hey, isn't that your bodyguard? Yes, that's Anis. Little girl with a puppet. Welcome back. Greetings, Anis. 
What's the status of the Tartarus? It's in front of the forest, just like you asked. You said to hurry, so we came as fast as we could. Hey, what's going on? Everything's pretty obvious. Restrain those two. They're the ones who've been emitting the seventh phonons. Jade, don't do anything to hurt them. Don't worry, we won't kill them. Assuming they don't resist. And yeah. Be good, kids. Betrayed already. Away. Sort of. Barely. It's taken me almost ten parts to get through like the first hour of the game. I gotta got quit ragging on how long this is going to take. Oh well, I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't one of my all-time favorites. Tartarus. Land ship. The seventh phonon hyper resonance came from the direction of the capital of Kimloska Landvoldir and converged inside Malkuth territory near Tataru Valley. Now, if you two were the source of that hyper resonance, that would make you guilty of illegally crossing the border into our country, wouldn't it? Does it count if it's an accident? Jeez, you're obnoxious. <laughs> he called you obnoxious. Yes, I'm terrible. Yes, hurt. and as we were listening. There's Jade being snarky again. But moving on, Tyr, we already know you're with the Oracle Knights. But what about you, Luke? What's your full name? Luke von Fabra. I'm the Luke you idiots tried to kidnap. The son of Duke Fabra, who married into the Kimloskan royal family? A duke? Oh. Gold digger. Why Although she has a very, very What's noble reason. She does go about it all the wrong ways. Pleasant. We're here only because our seventh phonons caused a hyper resonance. It wasn't an act of aggression against Malkuth by House Fabra. Colonel, I believe Tyr is telling the truth. I don't feel any hostility from him. Yes, it does seem he's lived a sheltered life, completely ignorant of the world outside. <laughs> huh, fine, make fun of me. Yeah, well, it's true, isn't it? Actually, why don't we ask for their help? We're headed for Kimloska under orders from His Majesty Peony the Ninth, Emperor of Malkuth. He's a weird emperor. To declare war? Wait, what? Are you saying a war's gonna start? You've got it backwards, Luke. We're trying to prevent a war from breaking out. Annis, that's not public information. Trying to prevent a war? Are relations between Kimlaska and Malkuth really that This bad? is pretty much the entire focal, focal point of the first quarter of the game. More like, yeah, is dealing with the, trying to prevent the war, and then being in the war, and then stopping the war. I think you're the only one who doesn't It's know. a big focus. You know, you're obnoxious too. We're going to release you now. I'll grant you permission to enter any area you wish, apart from those containing military. First, learn a little about us. Then if you feel you can trust us, we'd like to ask your help. So that we might prevent this war. If you want us to help you, why don't you just tell us what's going on? If we were to explain and then you decided not to cooperate with us, we would be forced to hold you captive. What? This matter is a state secret. That's why I'm urging you to make up your mind first. I hope we have your understanding. Okay, cool story. Are we done talking? I'm sure they'll tell you the details after you agree to help. I'll be waiting. Luke, I'd so love to go places with you. Creepy. You're like, what, 12? Please come talk to me if you're willing to assist the Colonel. Why don't we take a walk around the ship? I think even you'll start to get an idea of what's going on in the world. Let's go exploring, Master! <sighs> All right, well, I didn't mean for that entire part to be one pretty much long cutscene, but I'm about uh, running out of time. So, see ya.